What's up YouTube, it's your girl B-Dove and welcome to my channel Rag Luxury where we talk all things style, fashion, lifestyle, wherever our little hearts desire. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 shoes under $100. Yes, $100. Because we know where the state of sneakers and the shoe world is at right now. It's like you can't even buy a flip flop without entering a raffle. You know? Yeah, no. I'm gonna kick it off um, pretty much starting with sneakers first and then regular shoes, etc. You know, all the other stuff towards the end. So if you wanna skip around, you can. Quick disclaimer, so these are my top 10. These are not like saying like, if you don't have these, you ain't stylish, like. No, these are just my top 10. Um, I chose these for their quality, their versatility, and their price point. So yes, that's why we're here. All right, so let's jump into number one. Here we go. All right, so number one is the Vans Old School. Now, you can get this pretty much anywhere that sells Vans, especially in the mall, Journey, Zoomies, PacSun, pretty much anywhere that sells sneakers usually has this shoe in stock. It's a staple, especially if you're going for that skater look, and all around it's pretty cheap. Um, I think it ranges between like 65 and 75 bucks. Things have gone up due to COVID. Thanks, COVID. So I have one here, um, but this is a leather pair and I really like these just because they're gonna last me a little bit longer than the original pair. So if you're able to find the leather pair, go for the leather pair. Um, and it molds to your foot. It, you know, kind of wears over time and kind of has that kind of worn in look. So definitely go for the leather pair. If not, the other pair is perfectly fine. And they offer other silhouettes like the authentic low and all white, black and again a range of colors next is going to be the stan smith adidas now this is like a staple across the board when it comes to like being able to dress up and dress down this is one of those shoes that kind of like for me right now i would recommend um just to give like the air force one a breather you need to and that is okay i still own air forces i think i have like one pair it's another dope shoe that's under 100 bucks i think they're 90 bucks if you can find them um, but the Stan Smith comes in a range of colors like that back tab I, it comes in like green blue black I prefer to go for the green pair. It's just classic you can wear with a suit you could dress it down go play tennis That's what probably Stan wanted us to do next is the Reebok Club C now. This is probably one of my newer discoveries one of my newer favorites but the Reebok Club C is super dope it definitely gives off that vintage vibe I've been able to have the green and white pair or like the green and off white cream color they offer another one that is like in a pink and like cream color as well that's kind of the one I have my eyes set on I do not own a pair currently but that is probably the pair that, that's my favorite I think I put it over here somewhere Looks pretty dope dressed up as well as dressed down. Next is the New Balance 574. Now back in the day, we used to get clowned for these. I don't know about you, but I used to think it was a Nike before I could even like really understand shoes and like no brands and stuff like that because I had an N on it. So I was like, so the 574, it is a super versatile shoe especially in the all gray it is one of the most classic colorways that new balance has made to this date they have like whole releases around this colorway um but the 574 is probably the first new balance i've ever owned especially as a kid just a clean silhouette you can wear to the grocery store you can play basketball pretty much do anything in it i don't know if you can really play basketball like you know, play basketball for real, for real. I mean, it's that versatile and it's super comfortable. Every New Balance I've ever owned has been comfortable. The quality is popping. It will last you a good while. Again, you can dress it up and you can dress it down. They offer it in a multitude of colors, but I prefer the gray. The next shoe is probably one of my favorites. It's definitely in competition with the 574. But it's going to be, and I have them here, obviously. It's going to be the Chuck Taylor 70. I personally think this is one of the most versatile shoes on the planet. From the richest person you know to the most frugal person you know will attest that the Converse is the one of the most versatile shoes. And it's also still super stylish. It's just a fun shoe. This was a basketball shoe, if you did not know originally. Don't ask me how, but I mean, it does have a little bit more support than the New Balance 574. 
but I prefer the cream colorway just because it pretty much can go with anything. I've seen this worn with tuxedos, I've seen them worn with dresses, I've seen them worn with jeans. Chuck Taylor 70 in black, cream, white. When I say versatility, longevity, quality, this is the winner. Next is the Nike Tailwind. <laughs> Yeah, so I went to go and find some pictures for you guys and it looks like the shoe's been discontinued. Don't worry, I got you though. So we got the Samba OG, um, the Samba vegan shoes as they call them here right now, but I prefer the smaller tongue. They have another one with a longer tongue, but these are soccer inspired shoes. I chose this just because it's another clean silhouette and of course it is under that $100 price point. Um, a lot of celebrities are wearing them right now, especially like ASAP, Kit Cudi, uh, Kendall. I mean, these photos have, I have no idea when they were, but at one point in time they weren't. But um, they pretty much go with any and everything. Um, you can wear them with athletic wear. Um, you can wear them with jeans. You can dress them up. Um, again, another versatile pick. In my opinion, Samba OG for the win. All right, next on my list, um, this has been reimagined in so many different ways. The Blazer 77, another classic sneaker, especially if you're into high tops. Um, they offer in a low top as well, but super versatile. This also gives the Air Force One a break. Just, you know, just putting that out there. I don't have anything against the Air Force One, I promise I don't. Can be dressed up and again, dressed down. I will say that a million times because a lot of people like to have shoes that they can wear for different occasions, especially if they're trying to, you know, save a little money and invest in other areas, if you know what I mean. So next, um, getting away from like the sneakers, and I would say this is something that you should have in your wardrobe or in your foundational elements when it comes to shoes. It's going to be a nice loafer or slip on formal shoe. This pair in particular is a thrifted pair. I prefer black because it goes with way more things than you could think of. Um, and it's also a classic silhouette. You can find loafers of different um, materials and different quality. It just depends on the brand, but you can find a pair of loafers for under a hundred bucks. Um, they may not be the most, you know, and they may not be Gucci or, you know, Ferragamo. I've had this thrifted pair and then I've also had, uh, it's not with me right now, but I've also had a pair from H&M that ran me 40 bucks. And I think I had a coupon and I think I ended up paying like $30. So like, those are like my favorite loafer. If it works, it works. It does not have to be a super expensive pair. Um, I do want, you know, the Princeton loafer from Gucci, but you know, we'll get there when we get there. Next on my list, I know this sounds crazy, but uh, it's gonna be flip flops. I personally was like, I really think I wanna invest in a pair of Yeezy, sandals or some kind of you know designer sandal and then i came to my senses and i was like nah this is a pair that i found from target 15 dollars um looks very similar to the easy slide I, again it, it just goes with other outfits like you can kind of dress these up um i've been seeing a lot lately people wearing slides with like a full-on outfit I also acquired a pair of mules. They're not necessarily flip-flops, but again, some kind of slip-on shoe of some sort. I think they were like $20, $25 from Macy's. But a sandal or a mule is gonna give you chill vibes, like, but you're still within fashion and you're still able to kind of wear them outside the house. Definitely kind of like a knockoff of a Birkenstock. I've owned Birkenstocks and they are highly uncomfortable. I own these, which is similar, and I still like the silhouette. This is a brand called Sun and & Stone, and this is available at Macy's. All right, so a recap, and if you wanna write this down, you know, pause me, do what you gotta do, but this is the run through real quick. So this is a nice foundational top 10 shoes under 100 bucks to, you know, you don't have to acquire all these. Now, I, again, am trying to, you know, just only keep what I need and then I have some other fun shoes that you know are in the mix so number one is your Vans old school number two your Stan Smith Adidas three your Reebok Club C your New Balance 574 Chuck Taylor 70 by Converse Nike Tailwind 
Nike Blazer 77 high and low. Loafers, a nice sandal or a mule. Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And it feels good to be back sharing this info, inspo with y'all. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you wanna share it with someone, I greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button because we got more content on the way. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Peace.